Okay, so I'm just gonna walk through a, uh, a retrofit um, installation right now. So the, the first step you're gonna do is remove the air heat sinks that were provided with the server. And this one just happens to have two screws. And we have two processors in the server, hence the two heat sinks. Okay, so now with the air heat sinks off, the next thing we're gonna do is just generally good practice is to remove the existing thermal grease that's on the processor. And what you wanna do is just get the bulk of the thermal grease off in this step here. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to use a, uh, a solution that's going to remove any residual thermal paste from the processor. So now that the thermal paste has been removed, we're gonna finally put a surface prep fluid down to create a clean surface for the new thermal paste that we're going to be putting on. So now with the surface is prepped, we're going to apply some thermal paste, approximately a pea size application. After that step is completed, we're ready to install our DirectJet uh, CPU modules. So we're just going to put our DirectJet modules roughly in the location of the, of the CPU, and then we're going to attach it with a screw and mounting plate to the motherboard. And again, we're just going to start the screws here, make sure everything is seated before we go back and tighten everything. So now that everything's kind of in place, we're gonna go back and tighten this down so we have good contact between the direct jet CPU module and the CPU. And the last step is just to take your tubing and uh, route it out of the server. And then you're all set with your direct jet uh, modules and uh, our precision cooling system.